speak your way to fitness, debating exercise and physical activity. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving into a topic that gets our hearts racing and our bodies moving. Yes, we're talking about exercise and physical activity. We'll explore various viewpoints on this topic, enrich your vocabulary, and work on your listening and speaking skills. Remember, the goal is to learn how to express your thoughts on health and wellness effectively. Exercise and physical activity are crucial elements of a healthy lifestyle. But what do these terms actually mean? Exercise refers to a specific type of physical activity that's planned, structured, and aimed at improving or maintaining physical fitness. Examples of exercise include swimming laps, lifting weights, or doing an aerobics class. On the other hand, physical activity encompasses any movement that uses energy. It includes more than just exercise. It can involve everyday activities like walking to the store, gardening, or climbing stairs. Now that we've defined exercise and physical activity, let's discuss their benefits. Exercise and physical activity can 1. Improve physical health. They reduce the risk of various diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. 2. Enhance mental health. Physical activity can decrease feelings of depression and anxiety. 3. Promote better sleep. Regular exercise often leads to improved sleep patterns. While discussing these benefits, we can use expressions like cut down the risk, boost mood, or promote sleep. Despite these benefits, many people find it challenging to engage in regular exercise or physical activity. Common barriers include lack of time. Many people have busy schedules and struggle to find the time to exercise. Lack of motivation. Without a strong desire or reason to exercise, it's easy to skip workouts. Physical discomfort or limitations. Certain physical conditions can make exercise difficult or painful. When discussing these barriers, we can use phrases like tied up with to indicate being busy or lack the drive to talk about lack of motivation. Now let's move to a real world debate topic. Here's a statement. Governments should provide free access to sports facilities to encourage more physical activity. How would you argue for or against this statement? Remember to use the vocabulary and phrases we've covered today. That wraps up our discussion on exercise and physical activity. Whether you're a fitness enthusiast or prefer a more relaxed lifestyle, remember that your opinion matters. Practicing your English through debating will not only improve your language skills, but also broaden your worldview. Happy debating, and see you in our next lesson.